Merry Christmas, everyone. It's been a while since I did one of these videos. Uh, I've been working, I've been very busy this year. And it's now Christmas time, and in the middle of putting up my Christmas tree. Now, putting up a Christmas tree is a stressful time. And uh, sometimes you need a, a special treat to help you get through the uh, decorating process. So we're gonna do uh, uh, Glühwein, which is uh, German uh, malt uh, wine. It's delicious, it's festive, and it's gonna warm you from the inside out. Now, I decided to put the tree in its stand and put the lights on before I get into the wine. Just because uh, Christmas has passed, I got into the wine beforehand, and <sighs> anyway, uh, so I'll show you what you need. Okay, what you're gonna need is uh, a couple bottles of uh, a dry uh, red wine. Um, doesn't really matter as long as you like it. Uh, you need some uh, oranges. A lemon, a lime, uh, brandy if you got it, but I don't. We're in Nova Scotia, so I have a little bit of JD Shore black rum. Put that right down there. And mulling spices. You can get uh, star anise, cinnamon, all that stuff, cardamom, or you can just go down to uh, uh, Sobeys and get yourself a box of this. They come in little tea packets, you can just stick them in there. And uh, need a slow cooker. And that's it. Oh, I forgot to uh, mention a little honey as well. It's a little Kirkland honey I got from Costco. If you have kids and don't want to get them drunk, uh, or you don't drink yourself, or you want something a little bit different, you can get yourself some apple cider and do the, this video and skip the wine and the uh, rum. Uh, pour your wine into the slow cooker. Make sure your slow cooker is turned up high at first, and we're going to turn it down. It's always good to give your wine a little taste before you uh, stick it anywhere. Like I said, you could use brandy or schnapps or anything really, but J.D. Shore. Oh, that is smooth. Well done, J.D. Shore. I'm gonna save a little bit. The reason why I'm gonna save a little bit is because I uh, went to enjoy uh, this experience and I don't wanna end up uh, passed out in the floor. So uh, I can always put a little more rum in, I can't take it out. So I'm gonna save a little bit of the rum. If it needs a little kick, I can add some. If not, I won't. Now, you're gonna want about a cup of honey. You can use granulated sugar, you can use brown sugar, or you can use a lot of things. I, want, I don't know what it'd be like with the maple syrup. I'm sure you could use that too. And you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna, Give this a little bit of a stir just until the honey is dissolved in the wine and room. <laughs> now I slice the uh, orange, uh, lime, and lemon. I only use one of the oranges, I think that'd be enough. And before you do, you should wash them off uh, good under the uh, tap with warm water. Because wherever those uh, citrus fruits are, are, are grown in, uh, I don't know, California or Florida or New Germany, uh, you could put a lot of uh, pesticides on there and you don't want to have pesticides in your mulled wine. I'm just going to want to drive your citrus fruits in to your... Uh, slow cooker. You can get this from any grocery store. I uh, get this at uh, Sobeys. Uh, like I said, they're 
little tea bags and you can just uh, dry those into your slow cooker now I just stuck the tea bags in I just put them all around the uh, slow cooker you can see that now uh, I'm gonna just stick the uh, top onto the onto the I sound like I'm from Lindenburg County yeah I'm just gonna stick the cover onto the uh, mold wine there you and uh, let it come aboard of them come with Jimmy on table in about half an hour I'm gonna check on it and if it's nice and hot I'm gonna turn it down to warm and I'm gonna keep it there and just let all those flavors infuse uh, just putting the tea bags in there, I can start to smell them, and I just literally put them in there. Okay, I just gave it a little taste, and I had to add a little more uh, honey to it, and I stuck a couple uh, cinnamon sticks in there, and just gonna let it go for another little while. All right, it's about ready. I decided to make myself a bologna sandwich. Uh, my rule of thumb is that if it's non-fried bologna, I use mayonnaise. If it's fried bologna, I use mustard. Because that's how we plays like to roll. Since I'm half native and uh, half German descent, I have the German wine and the native side, a bologna sandwich. <laughs> oh, that smell. Holy shit. I'm going to put this in a mug, but just to show you the colors, I'm putting it in a wine glass. To go with the Chris Kindle marks in uh, Germany, they put it in little mugs, cups. But this, I'm going to stick it in a wine glass to show you this wonderful color. Well, it's all steamy. You can't really see it, I guess. I'm going to give this thing a little taste. Oh, it smells really, really good. Oh, that's gorgeous. But she's got a kick on it. She's got a kick in her. Look at it. She's, uh, that rum is, uh, a bit of a kick. Oh my god, that's beautiful and lovely. It pairs very well with a uh, uh, sunrise uh, bologna sandwich. Merry Christmas to me. Now that I have my wine, I can put the ornaments on this and put my angel on top of the tree. So until next time, I'll talk to you later.